Hello everyone. We have our news for the week, so let's go through everything. Maintenance is the same time as usual, no surprise there. Ending with maintenance is pretty much all the summer events. If you have not done the boss rush, uh, last chance to do that, finishing everything gives you two free 10 pulls on the summer only units. So that is definitely worth it. Um, if you have any dark vision summon tickets left, that uh, banner is going away with maintenance, as is the Final Fantasy X raid summon and the box summon to enhance Titus' sword. And this week we are getting Christmas, so we're getting a new NeoVision base. So just like Halloween, they're doing a new NeoVision base instead of doing an NVA. A little disappointing there, but they did pick Tiana, who I did like the original version of. Her kit was a little odd, so you really needed to find a dupe of her to fully use her. So we'll see uh, what they do with the new NeoVision base. Uh, we're getting the 21 login bonus, which is pretty much they have 10 four-star base EX uh, tickets. Usual shot for the new NeoVision and Cash Summon. Fountain of Lapis is coming back. That's usually a good deal. And King Bohemi is getting the revamps that they talked about in the past. So they don't show us everything here. We're going to have to wait till the data mine to see everything. But he's getting some good stuff. So his barriers look like they're getting boosted to have morale bonuses. His physical reduction is getting boosted. And his... Uh, Type mitigation against demons is getting boosted. And his counters are also going to fill morale. Very nice. And his counter rate is getting boosted. I think the video they said 100%. So they only show us two abilities here. So his provoke is going from 50% uh, general mitigation to 75. Which is a really big boost overall. And then his uh, King's Barrier, the only thing they're changing is the barrier part of that. And that's just getting a morale boosted to it. So we'll have to see what the uh, high end is for a full morale gauge on the barriers that he can cast now. And everything else has to wait till the data mine. So I am definitely looking forward to seeing all the changes that they're doing to him. So with our new Neo Vision unit, we get a new card. So she's magic damage, so obviously magic card. 110 magic is pretty good. 30% magic and spirit is just okay. But the uh, fire, lightning, water, wind, earth resists by 15% that isn't locked to anything with that high magic is actually really nice. And then brave exvius only units get plant and aquatic magic killer, which is also very nice to have killers on a high magic card. getting more story released so looking forward to see where this story itself goes but other than that nothing too major there new clash of wills is starting so this is going to be aquatic plant and it has some unique things this is also the first one that's supposed to be easier according to their video a few uh back so we'll have to see just how many changes they made there's a couple listed here so the boss itself has high resist and we have to deal elemental damage to make it reveal its weaknesses which is interesting and new it itself deals ice water and light damage if we deal ice light or dark damage it's going to counter and if we don't deal fire lightning water wind or earth damage it's going to counter so we have to deal elemental damage but we have to avoid ice light and dark or otherwise it's going to be painful and we have to not have any turns where we deal no damage so the morale ability that they're giving us is restore mana which might mean that this thing drains mana. And the boss itself is going to get a dispel that also reduces ailment resist and drains mana. So we'll have to see if it has another drain mana aside from its morale ability. And then it's going to get another one that reduces all elements and deals all elemental hybrid damage. And they're adding a new score mechanic for Echelon 5, and that's going to be based on the total morale gained in battle. So we'll have to see how that works overall, and if it's going to count just what the gauge is at the end, or the overall 
morale that's gained throughout the entire fight. They're also adding Lapis and other rewards to the Fortuna rewards, which is the cash uh, ticket to boost the amount of rewards that you get. And they're making the 50% health lock a challenge option. So we'll see if this is their made it easier or if there's more to it than just taking away the health lock and making it optional. And it's still just put the chest piece armor. So yeah, there's nothing else new on this one here. So we'll have to see just how this fight goes, having to deal elemental damage uh, to make it reveal its weaknesses is going to add a bit of strategy to prepping. And then for Christmas, we're getting an elemental battle event. So these overall are pretty easy. You just kind of go in, farm, get to a bunch of the currency. And then the items. So we can boost them all. At least to a plus one. We'll have to see if there's something more than that afterwards. But they're showing us just the single plus. So we get a throwing weapon. 145 magic. 62 spirit. 20% magic. 15% fire and wind resist is decent overall. 75% uh, decreased chance of being targeted is kind of useless for the most part. I mean, there probably are a couple of situations where it might be helpful. And mana regen is always nice. And then a hat, 50 magic, 20 spirit, 20% magic, 15% lightning and water. Not bad if you need the resist or the uh, magic percentage. Accessory, 25 magic and spirit, which is kind of low. 10% magic is okay. 20% ice resist and 15 earth resist is uh, decent. And 50% uh, magic plant killer is nice. And then the new holiday units and Behemi who's getting his boost and the latest Neo Visions are all 300 bonus. Everybody else is a lesser bonus. And then challenge is going to unlock on the 30th. So we have to wait till then and we'll have to see just what the rewards are locked exactly behind that one. And then we have our actual banner. So Whimsical Winter Tiana is the main new Neo Vision. We also have Eldrin on the banner. Christine and Kralia who are NVA. So those are all the old units. Pretty much all the Christmas units are back on the banner. And they're doing the step up where you get step 4 for free. And a guaranteed Neo Vision on step 3. So we've seen this a few times. It's a decent. And there's a note that the five star pool only has the uh, Christmas units, essentially. So that is a bit helpful for anybody that needs the old units. So Tiana herself, she does have shift. And it is True Brave Shift, which is super nice. Base is Buffer Healer, while Secondary is going to be dealing Magic Damage. So Super Trust is a Rogue. 88 Magic, 70 Spirit is very nice. She gets 500 Magic out of it, and her 5-star... Uh, seven star form does too and it's also got 30 percent magic and spirit and 10 percent mana regen for everybody else accessory of 58 magic auto protect auto shell i mean that could be handy here and there As far as abilities, she gets LB Fill. Usually that's an EX2 thing. And they show us just two abilities. So a cooldown, reduce spirit, and resistance to throwing weapons, which is really nice because she uses throwing weapons. And gives her Quintemple Cast. And fills morale gauge. 
And then she gets unstable fire, reduced fire resist, morale based fire magic damage two times. And fire magic damage that powers up with consecutive use. So, need to see the modifiers. They didn't really say chains. But uh, a lot of magic stuff is either bolting or chaos wave awaken. So we'll see how that goes there. And then the really good news is the old units are getting EX abilities. So Eldrin EX2, he's getting something that's going to change his limit. Give him a thousand attack and magic. Boost stats by 100%. Eight crystals per turn. And boost the damage of uh, some abilities. And his LB is going to damage all. Boost all stats for all allies. And give some evasion of stacks to the uh, team. Saber strike. Cooldown. Morale based damage to one enemy. And boost damage of his other moves or certain other moves so we'll have to see in the data mine what the percentages are and what the uh, link moves are and then it looks like his shift is getting something to change the limit as well with the stats and everything and his shift limit reduce ice resist boost physical and magic against beasts for the party and deal ice damage to all enemies So yeah, his base looks like kind of a supporty buffing type limit, and the secondary is just going to be damage, no morale on either limit. So his morale stuff it looks like all chainer, and then in a shift he gets a morale based ice damage move on cooldown. And EX three, he gets uh, reduced resistance to swords, which is very nice, seeing he's a sword user. He gets Beast Killer for the party and boost Ice Damage for caster only, it looks like. Which is a shame. But overall, that's nice. Christine's getting a similar uh, type change, so her limit burst is going to change. She's getting boost to magic by 500. She's getting Equipment Magic 50%. She's getting 100% Chain Modifier, which is nice. And that Chain Modifier is also not linked to anything. And the LB information that they give us, Reduce Ice and Deal Ice. And unlocks our Multicast for 5 turns. So we'll have to see what the modifier changes to. And in Shift, similar thing. Except for she gets 700 magic. And she gets an LB damage boost. And boosts uh, certain abilities of hers. And her shifted limit. Reduce ice. Boost LB damage. And deal morale based ice magic to all enemies. So that looks pretty promising. So we'll have another morale based LB user. Now if I remember right. She was a chainer. For her limit. So we'll have to see if they change that or not. And also we'll have to see if she's given herself a 300% uh, LB damage buff. Or if it's only going to be like 200% like Sky. EX3. Reduce ice for all enemies. Add ice. And boost ice uh, damage for all allies. So that's a useful one. Kralia. They're uh, increasing her buffing and breaking. So she gets a bunch of resist, charm, stop, some fire resist, and she gets a preemptive break. We'll have to see. Most of the preemptive breaks that we've seen, I think 70% is the highest. I can't remember exactly on that. And she also gets a, her LB at the start as well. And then she's going to have her limit changed. I wonder if that's supposed to be her shifted form for this LB change. But limit change, nullify charm, boost elemental resist, 
Yeah, so this must be her shift form because she gets the preemptive break again. So her shifted one, I guess, is going to be a all stat break, reduce light and dark resist, deal light and dark damage to one enemy. Yeah, because her shifted limit is light and dark damage. So we'll have to see uh, what the percentage on those breaks and imperil are. Hopefully they're uh, high enough to be really useful. EX3, she gets a cooldown to break all stats and reduce all elemental resist, it looks like, for all enemies. Fill LB for all allies and fill morale gauge. So that looks like a super all-in-one. And she can consume 15 limit crystals to damage and boost attack. Defense magic spirit. Boost light dark damage. So it looks like she can damage an ally to boost stats and light and dark damage. And fill their LB. Again, we'll have to see what the uh, percentage modifiers on those are. But I was hoping that at least Kralia and Christine would get their EX abilities. And adding in Eldrin as well is nice overall. So really looking forward to what the new modifiers and everything for them are. And they're still having issues with Jet's triple cast, which they're fixing on the 23rd. And then just some lesser issues. So after maintenance, we should get the uh, proper super trust for slime. And they haven't figured out when they're going to give us the Marquise de Lion. Super for the uh, old uh, one that only goes to seven star. But pretty much that's all the information that we have. I am looking forward to Tiana and I'll be pulling myself. I liked her original unit. I look forward to this new version of her. Hopefully they do a good job. And definitely looking forward to all the boosts to the older units as well. So anybody that decides to pull, good luck. And we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.